hello guys welcome back to another video this is sam and we are in africa football connect guys i would like you guys to please hit the subscribe button i see people are watching but you are not really hitting the subscribe button or the like button too much to support the page so i prefer i would like you guys to help me too by helping the page grow which is to subscribe and just like the page and stuff like that it will help me and it helps the page a lot so we are back again with another video and today we are talking about the new announcement that the premier league just released from the current from the season that we are just leaving and they've announced the nominees of the young player of the season and the those the players that are included today it's trent alexander arnold jay grillish mason greenwood dean anderson anthony marshall manson mount oh they share the same name mason mount christian pulisic and Marcus Rashford. So these are the eight nominees guys that have been selected. So What we want to find out and what we want to hear from you guys and we're gonna be talking about in this page is to find out Who do you think is worthy to get this nominee and who do you think your, your vote is going for here? So there are a lot of players and it's going to be interesting to find out what everyone is thinking of this and we hope that you guys respond well and you go vote so that you support these guys because they've given us this entertainment of football and we've enjoyed what they've been doing and it will be really be appreciated if you are able to give them the support that they deserve after a long season that was disturbed by corona and stuff like that so please go out there and vote your favorite and please just try to be fairly to up according to how the players performed like you should go straight to how you feel the players confirmed and just vote for that player because that's what you feel like it deserves the 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 your vote or something like that or you feel like it deserves this award of the young 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 player of the season so it's going to be interesting guys i hope i see a lot of comments and who you think you're going to vote for and why you give your reasons you put it down there in the comments that you're going to vote for this person for this reason and you think that he deserves this one so as we are here right now i'm going to be giving you the stats of the season comparing to what will happen the last season and why i feel like this person deserve i'll do that in the end of the video then we'll do another one because it has already released the the player of the season and the manager of the season nominees so we'll do everything we'll just compile i decided to separate the videos because it's a lot of work but i'm doing them so i hope i hear what you say you hear also my feedback and whatever i feel in each and every player according to what you'll be seeing on the screen and whatever that they're holding these people so i can't wait so we are i'm starting with trent alexandra arnold which was the first one on the list of how the premier league produced it so trent alexandra arnold yes he's a liverpool striker 60 the jersey number 66 and he has around the years one two three years four trophies to his name and the first trophy years was the champions league which he got last season not this season not this season that just finished but the season before that where they beat tottenham and this is when he got the premier league trophy then he also got the club world cup and also the super cup so he has really achieved a lot which are three of the best awards of the of english premier league or let me just say european league he got club world cup he got he also what is it premier league and he also has champions league so he's a youngster who seems like he's gonna be offering a little a little more than a lot of people expect and at the same time okay so we're gonna be talking about his date of birth and why he's in this award he has been nominated in this young player award so firstly is is born he was born on the 7th of october 1998 so it means he's 21 years old so that's why he deserves to be in the young young player of the season awards because he's still young and his right black back everything we know is from england and he plays for liverpool and he's estimated like uh, the world the worth is worth if you a club wants to buy him they have to be pre they have to be ready to pay at least one 
110 million euro so that's what they believe that is worth whenever you want to buy the player so let's go to his stats now to his stats now we'll be talking about what we do so we start with the 2020 so 2020 the competition that trend alexander arnold was in was the premier league of course the champions league and the club world cup the uefa super cup community shield and fa but fa the club but he may never participated in any fa club in fa game so it means he was missing there they had other people were playing there so in the premier league he played 38 games <clears throat> so it's almost like he played almost all the games he did show up in some of the matches so it's like he played almost all the games and in champions league he played seven games in super club world cup he played two games in uefa super cup he played one game which is always one game because he had won the champions league last season so it's only one final and then you get your trophy from what he did the for my and in community shield he played one game of course it's one game so in the premier league what Trent alexander arnold did was this he scored four goals this season and he actually scored he actually assisted 13 assists this season he got five yellow cards and he played around three point something minutes which means he played a lot of minutes in the premier league which is good also and in the champions league he played seven games assist, only one assist no goal one yellow card then also he played around 582 five, minutes just the, the estimation of the minutes whatever they do and in the club world cup also two he played only he played two games and he assisted one then at the same time they've given their minutes and stuff like that so in the total total of all these things all the game total games that the trend played in 20, 2019 to 2020 are 49 games and in those 49 games he got four goals and he had 15 assists then he had seven yellow cards so this is a lot this is actually an accomplished this is a lot like he has accomplished a lot because for if a person who's playing as a left as a right back is a full back but he's able to assist 13 times and he's able to score four goals he's doing some some other people's jobs the midfielder the row of assists is playing like a midfielder but he's a defender then also in scoring he's doing the same thing so I think he really did achieve a lot and which is good you should appreciate that's why he's he's been nominated by Premier League they feel like he deserves to be where he is at the moment and I believe all the Liverpool fans who are watching here they deserve they feel like he deserves to be where he is and let me look at his stats from last season so that we try to compare how he has improved so last season they were he only participated in three so he only played in three top games let me just say so he played for the premier league the champions league then the fa cup that's all he that's all what he played and in premier league he played 29 games so it means because he played 38 this time he has played more games last this season than last season and he scored one goal last the horses nine season he only scored one goal in the premier league in all the 27 games he played and he had 12 assists so he's really good in terms of assisting giving people opportunity to scores and stuff like that then he got three yellow cards which means this season he has gotten a little bit more yellow cards than last season is there something that trend is doing that is lacking a little bit then we move on to the champions league champions league the player he played 11 games in the 11 games he never scored a goal but he had four assists then at the same time that's all he never got a yellow card and which means he, this season he got a yellow card one yellow card which is a little bit bad for him but also and he played less games than last season so he needs to improve on that we hope he does then we, in total he played 40 games and he had one goal and 16 assists so which is which means if you look at this at this Stats looking from the ones for 2020, he has actually achieved more, isn't it? Yeah, he has actually achieved more because he had more. He had, let me see. No, he achieved less, so he got less. He, he was one shot to reach his maximum of 16 assists. He had this side, but they feel like he still deserves to be there because he managed to go get the club, the trophy that they even got. 
after like it was 30 season, 30 years with Liverpool without getting the Premier League trophy but they didn't manage because of how much he has contributed and for that he deserves to be given what the prize is getting so tell me what you think guys and do you feel you think that he deserves to get this looking at the stats i'm not talking of the other clubs that other fans of the club that they have their players that are nominated here i'm talking for the other ones the general ones who have nobody of their team represented there but they just have to choose the ones that they feel deserve to be this so we'll hear on the comments below and i'll tell you what i think at the end of the of the video secondly we move to jack greenish who is a Aston Villa player, player and he was promoted last season from promotion in the this season that was ending the one that we are coming out from he their team was were only we only left to see they only managed to survive by one point for them to be relegated and they played the crucial role for them to be there I think that's one of the reasons why he's appearing here because of how much he has contributed to be where he is so looking at his personal profile the aston villa number 10 who was born in 1995 september 10 1995 and he was born in, he's a english citizen and at the same time he has no any trophy in his in his here like oh, when i what can i say in his backyard or in his house he has no any trophy because he hasn't got anything and they got promoted to the premier league after the club finished as number two second runners to no 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 rich city so this is what is happening and the <coughs> people believe that they, they, they are saying that he's worth 40 million euro if any club wants to buy him the the money has to be averaging 40 million euro and he's from Aston Villa and he's a good player though let's find out his stats what he did this season which got him into this nomination so he only played two cups which was the Premier League and FA Cup the EF Cup EFL Cup which is the Carabao Cup I believe so he played 36 games for Premier League and he played five games for EFL Cup and also yeah that's all so in Premier League he, uh, of those 36 games he scored eight goals and he had six assists then he had eight yellow cards oh that's bad and so that's what he what he got and in EF uh, with the Carabao Cup he played five games two goals and two assists so in total he played 41 games and those 41 games he scored 10 goals and 8 assists so he, re he really did provide and the reason why his test could be lower than the other ones is because he was playing in a lower team that was just coming from the division so it means he has done his best and he deserves to be where he is right now so you need to give him you need to like respect where he is right now because of what he has done and now looking from what he did last season, oh, I think this guy will qualify the, through the championship playoffs. So it means he won a cup. Why are they not writing it there? He deserves to be given the playoff cup because he did manage to get the cup, right? So in the championship, he played 31 games. And in the playoffs, he played four games. And also in the Carabao Cup, he played one game. And in the championship, he scored six goals and six assists, which means... 10 goals that he scored this season was an upgrade he has achieved more and also six assists the same as he got in the premier league and the playoffs he had two assists so in total it's 36 games six goals and eight assists and five yellow cards so he deserves to be there and i feel like he played a crucial role he scored the more the important goals for the club that's why they're where they are right now so we move on and the, the player that we are now talking about is Greenwood, the United youngster, the one who's on fire, the one that has been scoring a lot of games, goals. So let's find out what they're talking about, what they say about Greenwood. So the 26, the player, the player who wears the jersey number 26, Mason Greenwood, was born in October 1st, 2001. So he is the youngest in this list of the young players of this one. So you need to respect him for that because he's going to do more than what people expect. And he's a citizen of England, so he's from England. And he has no trophy in his 
in his like in his locker room or wherever in his house or wherever they put the trophy cabinet in their house and stuff like that. He has nothing, and at the same time, he is worth around forty-five million euro. Whenever a club wants to come, they have to invest their money somewhere around there. And he's playing already in the Manchester United at this year. So he's somebody who's going to be amazing as time goes. Mm. So 2020, let's look what he, what, what he did. So 2020, he played in this in Premier League. He played in Europa League. played in FA. He played in Carabao Cup. He played in EFA. Then he played in Premier League 2. Premier League 2, I think that's the division one, the one that you play as the club they play where the youngsters are playing, the under 23, I believe. So in, in the Premier League, he played around 31 games. And in those 31 games, he scored 10 goals. And in those 10 goals, he also had one assist, which is an amazing for a youngster who's only a 2001 year old, which is just amazing. You need to be respecting for that. In Europa League, he played seven games, which is eight. I don't know if he played yesterday, but he played seven games for the time when these things were taken. And he has five goals and two assists. So he's just a natural in terms of scoring goals. And in the FA Cup, he scored one goal and no assist. In the Carabao Cup, he scored one goal and two assists. In the EFA Cup, which I don't really know a lot about, he scored one goal. And in Premier League 2, he scored one goal. So in total, the player has scored, he has scored 19 goals. 19 goals in total, which is just amazing for a kid who was born in 2001. He's already fighting up there with the, some of the best players we know there. So he's a forward and he's doing amazing. And no yellow cards and he's still just clean. He's just a young kid who has no any reason to be hating or bad blood with players. He just wants to enjoy his football and he deserves to be where he is. Let's compare this to last season. Let me see what he was doing in 2020, 2018 and stuff. So he was playing all of these things were just from the young academy when he was still in the youth of Manchester United, which is the under 18 Premier League, which he scored. He played 13 games and he scored 15 goals. And he had five assists and one yellow card. And in Premier League 2, which is, is the under 23, which he played six games, three goals and two assists which is amazing. UEFA Youth League, he played five games, scored five and one goal and one yellow card. No, and one, five goals, one assist and one yellow card. And also in the Premier League, he played three games and with nothing, which was last season. We didn't really see a lot about him. For him, I think they were just testing him, giving him the last 10 minutes or even eight minutes just to see if he can be able to compete with these big players that he'll be play, he was playing with. And also, in the FA Cup, he played two games, scored three, and no goal. And in the Champions League, he played one game, and the rest were just blank, nothing was there. So, in total, he played 30 games, and he scored 26 goals, and he had eight assists, and he had two yellow cards. Oh my God. I know that there are the lesser leagues that he was playing for here, but if you look at the goals and what he has done, he has done more than most of the players that we've been talking about here. And he is just the youngest of them all. So I think England, you got yourself a striker here in Manchester United. Please nurture this boy well and you'll be amazing, I'm telling you. So you tell me what you think, guys. If you're going to vote for him, give me a reason down in the comments. Tell me why he deserves to be where he is and why are you giving him what? Your, your best and why are you saying that he deserves to take this this trophy that they'll be getting the next one we are looking at is a keeper now and is it there and it's Dean Anderson so Dean yes he was born in 1997 12th March yeah 12th March and he's from England Place of bed is what is not really important, and he's a Manchester United player. But he was playing for Sheffield, and he is maybe they think that he cost around 20 million euro, which I don't believe is true because he's a good keeper 
and I don't think Manchester United can sell him to any club for 20 million euro. But we'll get, we'll get to find out more about that. 2020, he was playing for Sheffield. And he played 36 of their games in Premier League. And in FA, he played four games. And uh, of course, we don't expect goals from him. But we do expect the yellow cards and, and he got two of them. And in the games that he was playing, the shots that were taken, the always shoot, that he received were around 33. I believe, I believe there were 33, and they, from those 33 shots, the ones he was able to save were with 13, and from four that he got from FA Cup, he saved one, and in total, 36, 37, and 40 something, which is just good for a keeper, and I believe this guy can be better than the Jagia that United has right now at the moment, so we'll get to find out more about what will happen. Oh, I believe the ones that are... I think I made a mistake here. And let me go back. So the, the shots, the goals that he... The shots that he couldn't save were around 18. And the shots that he say, did save were around 33. So he's really amazing. And we're going to expect more from him. Can't wait to see what he's going to do. But this is what we're getting, guys. And we're expecting more from these guys. And what else do we have again? So in total, I played four games and he got two yellow cards in those four games. Let me see, let me see something. I want to check something around uh, around the goalkeeper department. I want to see what that is. But he's a, he's a good player though, guys. I believe he's going to be better or even go with the best if Manchester United take him. Because also, uh, Chelsea are looking to get him in the transfer because they need a keeper. They really do need a keeper. And keeper, that's not a keeper. Let me see what other thing is. So the clean sheets that he kept were 13 yards. The clean sheets. And... Let me see. What is that? What's this? The goal conceded were 33. So he... The goals he was scored were 33 and the clean sheets he kept were 18. And the four goals that were scored in the FA and one clean sheet he kept in the FA. So that's the information we have for the player. And what else? What else? Let me check in now. We go to 2018, 2019. The goals he considered, which was in championship, out of 36 games that he played with 34 way out of 46 games he played with 41 and the, the clean sheets he kept with 21 so come to look at this in total he was better in the championship than he is right now but now the leagues have changed now this side there's more competition on that side and there are more money type or in the salary type of players so we didn't we can't hold a player for that he's been doing amazing and the next person who's on this list is Anthony Marshall. And Anthony Marshall is a player from Manchester United and is the oldest player in this list, I believe. Because he was born in, in December 5th, 1995 and he's 24 years old. And he has gotten the, some of the cups that are interesting here, which include the Europa Cup, <coughs> the Community Shield and the others. And people, we believe in transfer market, they believe it's worth around 58 million euro. And he's in a Manchester player. Let's find out what he did this season, what brought him in this list. So, from Manche from this Premier League, he played 32 games like this season. And in Europe, he played 5 games. In FA, he played 5 games. And in the Carabao Cup, he played 4 games. The reason for this, I think, is because he, there were some times where he picked up some injuries. So, he had to not show up because he was injured and he had to come back again. So, that's why he was missing in some of the time and some of the plays. And in those 32 games, he scored 17 goals in Premier League. And he got seven assists, so which is just amazing. Can you believe this? And in Europa Cup, he scored five goals. He scored four goals and no assist. And in FA Cup, he scored one goal and four assists. And in Carabao Cup, he scored one goal. And in total, he got one yellow card, and the, which is just amazing. So it's 46, 23, and 11. And this is just amazing. But this season, he has not lifted the trophy yet. So. Yeah, it happens. Let me go back to 2018, last season. Last season in Premier League, he played 28, 27 games and they scored 10 goals. 
and three assists and he had two yellow cards in championship champions league he played eight games one goal and one uh, one yellow card in fa cup he played two games one goal and nothing else in the Carabao cup he played one game and nothing else so in total what i can say that the player is really improved from this because now he has 17 game goals and he has seven assists which is just amazing that's why he deserves to be on the list so manchester united there's another player for you guys who has proven that he deserves to be where he has been put and the next one who comes i think we are left with about three players after mount so the next player who comes is mason mount so Mason Mount is a Chelsea youngster who came from the who Lampard took from from this side and he was born in 1999, 10, 10 January, and he's 21 years old. And they believe he's worth around 40, 40 million pounds, uh, no euro, 40 million euro. And yes, are a lot of trophies, but the trophies that he had are only from the championship and maybe League Two, because he's still young. Let's see, so he's the second youngest player we have here. And let me check what else. What did he do in 2020? What, what which brought him here? So he had a lot of competition to play, which was the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup, the Super Cup, and also the Carabao Cup. So in the Premier League, he played 37 games and he played seven, he scored seven goals, six assists, and three yellow cards for a midfielder. It's just amazing. I think he's a striker though. Yeah, it's just a striker in midfield. I'm not really sure how they play with their roles then Chelsea. I'll do confirm that maybe on another video or something. Then Champions League he played seven games and nothing. He provided nothing. Then in FA Cup he played six games and he scored one goal and he got a yellow card in the FA Cup. Yeah. So for a young star to get these things when you're playing with the elite, the big teams is just an amazing achievement. He has done a lot of players couldn't do and he, this is Champions League and Premier League. So he they really does deserve to be where he is because he's still growing up but he's showing up that he can give more than we are. He, he's showing that he's going to give more to the Premier League next season. So it means the future is bright for the England for the England star championship. So in last season he was playing in the championship, which he played 35 games in the championship and he scored eight goals, five assists, and four yellow cards. And in the in the Carabao Cup where he got four games, two goals, one assist. And then the championship playoffs we played four games one goal and one year look at then in the fa cup so this is what he has done and tell me if he deserves to win the trophy and tell me your reason why you think he deserves to win this guys i'll be waiting to hear from you guys let's go again now we're moving to christian pulisic another chelsea youngster who is going to be on fire i'm telling you next season he's showing signs already this season if you are asking myself what am I talking about, go check out the Liverpool final game against the Chelsea. You know what I'm talking about. So, the American star, he was born in 1998, 18 September, and he's only 21 years old. So, he's the one who comes after, who's before man is the third youngest player that we have in this list. Maybe with the Marcus Rashford, I'm not really sure. And he is believed that it's worth around 80 million euro to this and is a Chelsea youngster what did he do this season that put him in this list let's find out so he played 25 games Premier League and in those 25 games he had five, nine goals and six assists in Champions League he had four games one goal and two assists in FA Cup he had two games one goal in Carabao Cup he had two games and one assist. And in Super Cup he had one game and one assist. So in total you get, you get 10 assists and 11 goals, which is amazing for 34 games. And it's just this is just his first season in the Premier League. What will happen when he's now used to the league? He's going to be an amazing star. Can't wait to see what will next season will bring for the Chelsea star. Let's find out what he did in Dortmund last season. So in the Bundesliga, he played in Bundesliga and he played Champions League and the DFB Poker, which I have no idea what that is all about because I don't watch the, the league for 
for German League. I don't watch it, so let's find out. So he played 20 games in the in the in the Bundesliga, and he, he had four goals and four assists and two yellow cards. Um, Champions League, which is seven games and one goal. Poker, that thing, what they are saying, it's three games, two goals, and two assists, which is just amazing. And in total, we got seven and six, seven goals and six assists. So this is this is an upgrade. What he did this season was an upgrade from what he got last this season. So this is just amazing. We hope to see more of him. And nobody but the last one, who is Marcus Rashford. Marcus, Rash, Marcus Rashford is an English international. And he has a lot of trophies in to, uh, of what he has achieved as a youngster. And he was born on the 31 of October to 1997. So he's going to 20, yeah, 23, 23. He'll be going 23 in October. So he has a lot of things that he has achieved. And he's in English. He was born in England and he's worth around 80 million euro. If you want to buy him, that's the range of the money you have to pay. So one thing I've noticed, it, means that it seems like Trent Alexander-Arnold is the most expensive youngster from the list that we have been provided. Uh, the way things are standing here, that's saying that he has played 31 games of Premier League and he has scored 17 goals and 8 assists and 3 yellow cards. And he, if we look at this, there was some time we picked up some knocks, some serious injuries that people didn't even expect that they would be back. And the Europa League, which is the Europa that has, he has played four games and he has scored one goal and one assist. Then in the FA Cup, he just played four games with nothing that he produced. Then in the, the Carabao Cup, he played three games, four goals and one assist. We, in total, we got 22 goals and 10 assists, which is just amazing, and three yellow cards. But this is just an amazing achievement in 2020. Let me see what he did last season. In the last season, so just looking at the information that I have, he has done better this season than last season. Because last season he played 33 games and he scored 10 goals and he had 7 assists. And in Champions League, this was Premier League. In Champions League, he played 10 games, 2 goals, and 1 assist, and 1 yellow card. In the FA Cup, he played 4 games and 1 goal and 1 assist. So it was an interesting game, but in total, 47 games, 7, 13 goals, then 9 assists, then 6 yellow cards. So for this, he has done better this season, which gives him the, the chance and the opportunity to be on this list. So this was all the analysis that we had, guys. Tell me what you think and tell me who your vote is going for here. And we'll be back again with the, uh, the analysis of the bigger teams. We will be talking about the, the bigger players who are getting the Premier League player of this season. We will talk about them, the Kevin De Bruyne, the Jordan Anderson, and we do talk about, them, talk about them again because they've done more. So, after revealing all these things, my vote will go to Trent Alexander Arnold. Reason why? Not because uh, I'm a Liverpool fan or what. I'm looking at the the things that he has produced as a fullback. And I'm looking at the number of assists that he has provided as a fullback. I'm looking at the number of achievements and how he has pay, played a key role to achieve all those achievements that the club has this season. And I'm looking as well at what did the, the player did the moments that he had of the season that he had to talk about. And if I wasn't voting for him, the next player that I was going to go for would be Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood is just is just dangerous when he faced with the goal. It's just amazing when he's faced with the goalkeeper there. He's good and I feel like he deserves to be somewhere there. And also Christian Pulisic, but also there were too many injuries. So we will wait and see what will happen next. But Trent goes for me, then the rest of the rest of the followers will just be there where they are. And also Dean Anderson, I feel like he deserves to be there also. So if you are voting, you should vote looking at what the stats of the person has done and why he deserves your vote. Give a reason. Like I've given you the reason why I feel like trading deserves to be there. I feel like he has achieved a lot and he has worked very hard. He has been in some key moments for the club. Also, which also bring brings me to Grealish. Jack Grealish also has been a key player for the club and also he was also there. The reason why he's not getting my 
my powerful why i'm not really supporting is that also when they were falling down he was also there and they did nothing so you see what i mean that's why i'm giving these people and what liverpool has done with Jurgen club is just crazy and amazing and we i don't think they will have a season like this again it's gonna take time it's gonna take time because the teams are coming back but tell me what you think leave your comments below and please don't make a mistake by not leaving a comment give me your comments what do you think and who are you choosing and give me a reason why you're choosing that player so that we talk about it and we analyze it and then we see what we do because that's what we do here at africa football connect and we get to we hope to see you very very soon on another video we will be dealing with the bigger players and also we'll be doing the review of the next season jersey i keep talking about this video you should wait for it because it's gonna be carrying more than what a lot of people think here so talk thank you very much guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this and we'll meet again I hope we'll meet again for another video this is sam signing out in africa football connect and please don't forget to click the like button don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to share this video with other people who you are having you are having debates about give them the stats let them understand show them what they what we've analyzed here so that they come up with that decision and give us the reason why they're choosing the player that they're choosing so that you can talk and have a conversation that will push this time in some of the countries where you are still in lockdown so thank you very much for watching i hope to see you soon and please also a question that i want to give you a random question who do you, who do you think is going to win today between manchester city and real madrid i hope to see the comments below so thank you very much for watching we'll meet again on another video